What do we got in front of us? We got some ingredients in front of us. No, no, it's not homebrew time. It's time to infuse the booze. That's right. Summertime's coming, guys. And I looked in the closet and I said, damn, I'm out of Malibu almost. And that's coconut flavored rum. I'm using a lot of mixed drinks. You know I like making the cocktails. We got the mixed drink how to's. Check out the playlist. You'll like it. And I'm going to have to do something. I have no more Malibu, but I got a pretty decent amount of uh, just white rum here left over. I like Don Cool or Don Quixote, however you want to say it. And I'm going to use the rest of this up and get me a new big bottle. So, what am I going to do with this leftover? Well, I'm going to make coconut rum. How do we make coconut rum? First, we get ourselves a mason jar. This one's sanitized. You can boil it. You can spray sanitizer in there. You don't have to sanitize it technically because there's booze in here. But, and it's over here. It's 80 proof. But, why take the risk? So, I sanitize it with star sand. You can also boil sanitize it. So, we've got that. We've got some baker's coconut. I use a pre-sweetened type because... Coconut rum to me should be a little bit sweet. This already has the sweetener in it, and it has potassium metabisulfate in it, which will stop any possibility of excess bacteria growth that could occur, so it's extra safe. Kind of like when you're making some homebrew and you're using, or like a homebrew cider, and you're using, you know, natural or fresh fruit. So what do we do? First, I've got my measuring cup here, and I've saved you the tedium. I've measured out a cup of this flaked coconut, and we're gonna put that into our jar. Put our bag over here. Pretty simple. The stuff's already in clumps because it's it's moist already. And you say, DJ, while you're spilling, yeah, I'm a slob, but you're also you're putting a lot in there. It looks like. Trust me, to get coconut flavor out, and I've tried to homebrew with coconut and make ciders that have coconut in it. To get your coconut flavor in there, you've got to use plenty of it. Okay. So we got a full cup in there. Now we're gonna top this off and fill it to the brim with rum. So, man, don't you let just, why don't you just pour your drinks like that all the time? Just let that bottle go and not have repercussions later and all those happy things. And it looks like I had exactly the right amount to go to that. Now, you could do this with vodka or Everclear, too, if you wish. I prefer, man, that smells good, the sweetness and flavor of the rum myself. Now, basically what we're making here is like a coconut extract almost. Because when they make extracts, they basically use alcohol to take the flavor out of whatever they're using. Fruit, coconut, lemon, what have you. So, give it a shake. We got a big mass in here. Boom, we got a nice shake up there. And there you have it. That's gonna infuse out, and over the course of a few days, uh, I, I'm gonna give it two weeks. I think that's about what it takes to get a really good extraction out of that. And I'll take pictures along the way and video me. We'll be back in approximately two, two and a half weeks, something like that. We'll do a bit of a tasting and let you know how it goes. And until the next time, or actually to the next part of the video. Peace. Hey guys, I'm back. Time to finish up our coconut rum. And unfortunately, well, or fortunately, who knows, doesn't really matter so much, but it hasn't been two weeks since the last time I uh, made a video for you on this. I forgot about this in my cabinet. Actually, I neglected to look at the label on the top of the jar and see what date I had on it. I just kept shaking it and shaking it forever. And it's been nearly four months since I started this project. It doesn't really matter so much because you're infusing rum, so it's sitting in there. We got, you know, 40% uh, 40 alcohol booze sitting on this you're going to be just fine. So we got some real simple tools to do this. We've got our um, jar funnel here, our canning jar funnel. We've got our, our jar that's been sanitized, both of these with star sand. We also have our sort of tea filter, maybe you call it, or, or whatever you want to call it, tea strainer. And um, that's also been uh, sanitized with star sand, as has our um, cup here, our measuring cup. Now I'm going to filter this, start out filtering it down through this strainer and then we'll move on to our number four coffee filter which we'll put inside of here so open up the can all right get it popped this has been on for a while now look it's separated out on the top as i pour it out i don't know if you can see it the top is really quite white i don't want to spill it um the fat separates out actually out of this i gave it a good shake before i popped the top and got started here so it's real simple we just start pouring it into here and our coconut mash or whatever will filter into there. And you'll come out with a you know liquid. You see, here's all of our coconut. This smells divine, by the way, guys. I guess maybe that extra time was good. Man, that smells lovely. As you can see, we've got all our coconut in the jar there. 
I'm going to work through some of this and, and press it down a little bit and I'll spare you that. We'll get it in here and then I'll come back and we'll start putting it through the paper filter. Back in a flash. Okay guys, I'm back. As you can see, we've got all of our coconut here that was in the jar. If you taste this, which I did, there's almost no coconut taste into in it. It's really small. The only taste I think I was getting off is some of the coconut rum that was actually trapped in that fiber that's left over because that's basically what you got now. So. We'll take our number four coffee filter, move our stuff around here. We've got our jarring funnel here, our canning funnel, whatever you want to call it. Put our number four filter in here. Number four fits really well. And we're going to do something real technical. We're going to pour the, the infused rum into the filter. Wow. Look at that magic. So we're going to let that filter down. I'm going to spare you this process because it's kind of slow. It'll filter down. It'll take out a lot of the uh, fats and things that are in there. And I'll be right back when this process is through. Back to the flash. Okay, guys, I'm back. We got our first filtering done. And as you can see, it's still pretty cloudy and white, but it got a lot of those fats out of there when I cleared it out of the filter. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it another filtering. You see I've got another filter set up here. And once again, it's real technical when you go to filter this. We've got number four paper coffee filter. Then we pour in the magic liquid. Yes. And it filters. We're going to let this process go because it's slow going through the coffee filter. And we'll be back in a flash when it's done. Hey guys, I'm back. You can see we're done our second filtering here. And it's getting a lot more clear than the last time. All those fats are pretty much out of it. Um, there's a little bit of trub left in there or lees, whatever you want to call it. So I think I'm going to give it one more go through the filter. I'll be back once this is done. And we'll see how clear it gets. Back in the lab. Alright guys, I'm back. We got our coconut rum filter down three times. And as you can see... It's pretty darn clear now. That's about as clear as this is going to get. It's not like a commercial product where they got heavy filtering that they run it through. Or like I'm saying, Malibu rum is rum with coconut liqueur added to it to make it that coconut rum. This is actually coconut infused rum straight up. You see it here in the shot glass. It's a lot more clear, easier to see. It doesn't have that thick glass of the, uh, of the uh, mason jar there. Let's get a nose on this and tell you what the aroma is like and everything. I wonder if it'll smell like mm, coconut. Let's see. Man, nice coconut smell. A bit of sweetness because remember in this I use sweetened coconut, not um, just roasted coconut or just plain coconut. I use the sweetened sweetened coconut because instead of having to put a whole bunch of like simple syrup or something in this, like a lot of folks do when they make a coconut infused rum. I want it to be less affected by sugars. I want it to have more of a straight raw coconut taste because this goes into mixed drinks. So any sugar that you have in a liquor already, you can't control yourself and you can't balance it off as easily with adding simple syrup or whatever when you make a mixed drink. Anyway, that's for another day. That's for a mixed drink how-to day. Let's get a taste on this or a little bit more of a nose, see if I get anything else. I'm getting a little bit like vanilla maybe, like creaminess coconut and of course it's fusel because it's it's a spirit so let's get a taste on this wow super smooth it has a really pleasant sweetness it's about half the sweetness that Malibu rum is I got a nice warming going down the chest this is 80 proof you know 40 percent ABV stuff so that's why we're having a little tiny shot of this today but man you're getting coconut, some mild vanilla flavors. Maybe that was the extended aging that this got four months on the coconut. Man, really, really nice. It tastes almost like um, alcoholic coconut water in some ways, like the better coconut water that has that big coconut flavor to it. But it's creamy feeling in the mouth. It's very coating. And it's, it's smoothed this silver rum out a lot. Man. That is really tasty. I'm really happy with how this product came out. And when you're done, what do you do? Put your cap on it. Put your date up on the top when you finished it. And also, remember, 
with infused spirits like this that's using natural ingredients to infuse them, you want to keep them out of the light because it can turn the color. It won't make the product bad, but it'll make most things go sort of a brownish tinge. So that's how you make coconut rum. It's easy. I'll put some good pictures up on this, like what it looks like as it clarifies and everything. We'll put the recipe or, you know, whatever, like we do on every how-to video. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. Until the next DJ's BrewTube how-to video, and when we infuse some more booze, damn, that's a big pizza!